Okay, so our first regular speed practice homework. Um, as you can see, we have just the six questions here. And I'm going to do a walkthrough on each of these. So if you have difficulty or you would like to see um, how I came up with these answers, this will be an easy way for you to look. Um, and you can fast, fast forward to the question that you may have. So I'm going to go ahead and begin here by changing the color of my ink. And um, so the first question, what is the average speed having traveled 40 miles in two hours? So easy way to break this down is 40 miles is a unit to measure distance. And then two hours is going to be a measurement of time. So if we have distance and time, we're going to be using this one. Okay. So when it goes into the next question, what are we solving for? We're solving for speed. So speed is what we are solving for. The formula that we will use is speed equals distance divided by time. So all we have to do is now plug in our numbers into the correct uh, locations. So D is going to be go back here. D is going to be 40 miles. And then our time is going to be two hours. And then we're going to go ahead and solve it. And that will answer our letter C here. That's 20 miles per hour. So all I did was I brought down my units as well. Um, and that gives me my speed unit. So miles per hour can go in this position. And then the answer is in C, 20 miles per hour. And I'll go ahead and highlight that. Okay. Now I'm just going to use blue for the rest of this. erase this. So with my blue pencil, number two, what is the distance in three or what is the distance traveled in three hours? That's going to be our time and 35 kilometers per hour, which is going to be speed. What are we solving for? It's going to be distance. And then which formula will we use? The distance formula is up here. Go and bring it down. D equals S times T. And now we're just going to do a simple plug-in of our numbers. We're going to do 35 kilometers per hour times three hours. And I use the calculator, and that would give us 105. Now, what am I going to have to use as my distance unit? My distance unit is going to be what is left behind after we multiply. So since this is on the opposite side of there, we're going to be left with kilometers. So 105 kilometers is the answer for C. And then our final unit is going to be kilometers. Go ahead and highlight that. Okay. Moving on to the next one. Let's go with green. How much time? So we're solving for time. Will it take to travel 
250 miles, that's distance, at a speed of 50 miles per hour is speed. Which formula am I going to use? Let's scroll up here. Okay, we're going to use this guy. Okay, so T equals D over S, distance over speed. Go ahead and plug in our numbers here. So 250 miles up top divided by our speed of 50 miles per hour. So 250 divided by 50, pretty simple now that I think of it, it's just five. Our miles are gonna cancel out, leaving us with our unit in hours. So five hours will be our answer. And for letter D, what is our unit? Hour. Highlight the answer here. Erase that. Next color. Mm. Let's go with red. Okay. What is the speed? That's what we're solving for. Speed. If you travel one kilometer, that's our distance, in 200 seconds. And that will be time. Which formula will we use? We can scroll up. We're going to use that first one here. Speed equals distance divided by time. S equals D over T. Plug in our numbers. One kilometer divided by 200 seconds, and that will equal a decimal of 0 0.005 kilometers in a second. So that is our answer. Our unit would be what our distance unit was, was kilometers, and then over our speed unit, which was seconds. That'd be kilometers per second. All right. Moving down to the next one, number five. Change your color to, go back to purple. How far can you travel? So how far can you travel? Sounds like a distance equation. Okay. Time is two and a half hours, 2.5 hours, and our speed is 50 miles per hour. So the formula we're going to use, we're going to solve for distance, which will be this one over here. Distance equals speed times time. So D equals S times T. Plug in the numbers, 50 miles per hour times 2.5 hours. Calculate it. That is 125. Cross off our hours, and we're left with miles. Okay, so our final unit would be miles, and our answer would be 125 miles. Oops. And for the last one, uh, we'll go with light green. Okay, so how much time? We're solving for time. I'm going to change this color. It's kind of light. So it's time. Okay. 
will it take to travel 60 kilometers, that's our distance, at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour, and that will be our speed unit. So the formula we would use is time equals distance over speed, d over s, distance is always up top. So we just plug in our numbers now, 60 kilometers divided by 40 kilometers per hour. That's going to give us 1.5. And that is solving for time, so we're going to use what's left behind is hours. One and a half hours would be the answer. Our final unit is hour. Here's the answer. So hopefully this uh, tool will help those who are struggling with the math concepts. Um, and of course, if you guys want to watch them, um, go through any time to study. Um, I, I plan on doing this a lot for our, our math problems, just because it can save some time in the classroom setting as well. So thank you and see you guys later.